Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to install a custom ROM on your Android 2.2 device. You're going to need to be rooted, and if you don't know how to do that, go ahead and check out my video on how to root the Droid, root the Droid 1. It's updated to the most current firmware edition. So the first thing we're going to need to install a custom ROM is an app called ROM Manager. Let's go ahead and download that. It is free. That's always a plus. And it's installed. Let's open it up. First thing we're going to have to do is flash clockwork mod recovery. That is a custom recovery for a number of phones. We're of course of course the Motorola Droid. Um, this allows us to flash update.zip files or any .zip file actually on the SD card. Um, it allows us to wipe every partition on the device including system which the normal recovery mode does not offer. There we go. Successfully flashed clockwork mod recovery. Now we have two options when downloading ROMs. The first one is you can select a ROM from this list. A common one that a lot of people like is CyanogenMod. We have Cyanogen Mod RC4 right here, which is a gingerbread based build. So we can download it with Google Apps, of course. If you don't have Google Apps, stuff like Market won't be there. Alright, we got a host is unreachable error. Uh, let's try downloading something different. Let's do the latest. I didn't get that. What's good? Let's get the latest version of Bugless Beast. You know, I think my internet cut out. Alright everyone, sorry about that last part right there. My internet cut out. I was going to download a ROM and show you how it works, but that's not going to work. Um, what would have happened, you would have seen it appear right here in the notification bar. It would have finished, and then it would have had a pop-up asking you if you wanted to back up your current ROM and then asking if you wanted to clear data and cache. Um, I recommend instead of choosing either of those options and clicking OK, you do this instead. Reboot, or power off. So click cancel on the little pop-up menu that comes up. Do not click OK because then it will reboot and install the ROM. Now hold X while pressing the power button to boot into recovery mode still holding the X here there we go here's recovery mode what we're going to want to do is go to Nandroid first of all and do a backup always backup before you install a custom ROM Alright, we're on the last stage of the backup. A few things I didn't mention, when you're navigating the menus in recovery, you're going to use the power button to go back, and the down and up volume buttons to navigate around the menus. Okay, now that we have backed up our ROM, we're going to want to do a wipe data factory reset, which will wipe data, cache, the SD extension if present and on your SD card the Android secure folder. It will not wipe your whole SD card just the Android secure folder so don't worry about it. Then go in format boot and format system and it's always good to format every single one of these partitions before you're installing a new ROM because especially when upgrading from Froyo to Gingerbread there can be big incompatibilities, it can cause boot loops, tons of crashes. So I'm going to be installing Liquid Gingerbread 1.4.2 today. Um, like I said, I didn't exactly say what I was doing. Uh, after you wipe everything, select Install Zip from SD Card. Then choose Zip from SD Card. You got every folder in your SD Card listed here. 
um, if you installed from Clockwork Mod or the ROM Manager program, you'd select Clockwork Mod, download, and then find the folder that it's in. I, on the other hand, downloaded from my computer the latest version of Liquid Gingerbread and stuck it in the install folder on my SD card. So I will then select with the camera button LGB v 1.42.zip and install it. Okay, we finished installing, so I'll press the power button until I get back to the main menu. If you push it while you're at the main menu, the screen turns off, no big deal. Reboot system now. Um, one quick thing, I was going from a fresh 2.2.2 ROM, that was the stock, what Motorola pushed out, and I didn't have any apps installed except ROM Manager and the ones that come with the system, so the backup didn't take too long. Do not be surprised if the backup takes 10 plus minutes. Um, while it's not required to back up, meaning your system won't break if you don't back it up, if anything goes wrong with the ROM you downloaded or even the file was corrupted that you downloaded and then your system image is messed up or your boot image is messed up, something doesn't work, and then you don't have a backup, well, that's just bad, bad stuff will happen your phone might be bricked. Uh, you can always download the ROM again, but it's just always safe to back up your phone completely and that that is a complete backup it backs up every partition on the device all your apps all your contacts all your data the sync every account login you have the browser history I mean it's all backed up and here you can see I'm going to do the little trick to skip the droid sign in this is liquid, gin liquid gingerbread 1.42 and it uses Launcher Pro which apparently is not happy about it but it still proves the point of how to install a custom ROM on your phone and there it is we're running Android 2.3.3 thanks for watching